So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi there, I'm Michael, and in the left corner we have Exit the Game, and in the... Huh. Well, in, in the right corner we're meant to have Unlock, but it's not here. And that brings me to the first difference talking about Exit the Game, these Unlock. You see, Unlock can be passed on, it can be sold on. Yes, you can play it just the once, but nothing gets destroyed, nothing gets damaged, you just sort the cards back into order, there you go, pass it on to someone else to play. Exit the game by Thames and Cosmos, you can't do that. This is almost legacy in the fact that you destroy it as you play it. Unlock does not have that. That is a big bonus to me. I mean, these are not cheap games, they're not expensive. But they're not cheap, and although, yes, they're good value for money if you get a group of people, the amount of entertainment you get, compared to other board games you could be buying, and the level of expense there, they are expensive. So being able to then sell the game back on, or pass it on to friends for free even, is a big bonus with regards to these. The, this just doesn't have, whereas Space Cowboys Unlock does. So what else is there to consider in this then? Well, they both dub themselves as escape room games, although Unlock is rebranding to be more mystery games. What I will say is, with regards to theme and fitting into that theme, so far Unlock has done it better. I feel that in Unlock you get the sense that you are where you are, that you're going through this location, you're looking in this specific place, you're gaining these tools and these items to use in this specific way to form, to solve this puzzle, and this puzzle is made up of these things that make sense in the setting. And I'm not going to go into details, but let's just say you look on a desk and it has a piece of paper that talks about code words or, exa for, or whatever. You'll have that and it will make sense. And exit the game doesn't it's so arbitrary and the puzzles just don't really connect or make sense to the theme at all they're completely abstract which brings me to the next point the puzzles in exit the game are better they are more interesting more different more innovative there's a lot more change throughout the different puzzles throughout the games than there is with Unlock. And don't get me wrong, Unlock has done fantastic and it's great and the puzzle's interesting and challenging and it actually just works really well. But the puzzles in Exit the Game, because they're not limiting themselves with the theme of what's going on, have a wider variety. I will also say that they're harder puzzles for the most part. Whereas Unlock tends to be easier, exit the games are harder, which could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on your opinion. Now the other kind of big difference to talk about with these is how you go about solving and cracking and proceeding with these puzzles. Because exit the game uses these wheels here and unlock uses the app. Now. The wheel does work, it actually works surprisingly well, an elegant solution with the way they've done the cards, that it's not just the first card you look at, that it then has to go somewhere else. That works well. And there is an element of that whole looking at cards, and it might be the wrong card, it might be the right card, with unlock, so they're fairly equal with that regards. But again, that app just helps pull you into the theme in unlock, in a way that exit doesn't with these decoder wheels that are, again that they, they work they're interesting but it just feels so abstract to the idea of you being in that location being locked in that room that it just yeah it falls a bit flat and i think the app has so much 
it could do, so much you're able to do with the app and that they're not yet necessarily using but will use and they're still, it, it's great for theme, you know, you've got music, you've got the countdown timer, you've got time penalties, you've got time changing and events changing that happen in the game and the app can handle all of that whereas it falls flat when you compare that experience to then the paper decoder. What I'll say is then what this comes down to is Unlock is a thematic, engaging escape room or mystery adventure game. Cosmos is a thinky, oh sorry, Cosmos, Exit the Game is a thinky puzzle game. That is the difference. If you want something that's thematic and immersive, go for Unlock. If you want just puzzles in a box, go for Exit the Game. And my personal preference, I prefer Unlock. I think it's just more fun. I like the fact that you can sell it on. It just has so much more going for it. I, I think the app integration works really well. It's, it's like the ideal app integration for me in that it just enhances the game. But you, don't, you can't play it without the app and you can't just play the app without the physical game. You need both and it, both together are what give you that amazing experience. And that's how app integration in games should be, in my opinion. So that is my thoughts on Exit the Game, Vs Unlock, where Unlock is the clear winner for me. And hopefully you've now got enough information to judge which one you'd rather try out. Do you have enjoyed this video and found it useful? If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing and sharing. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.